Welcome back into the Friday Night 360 AZ preview show. Haley Stasiak and Jordan Ham, joined now by Perry head coach Preston Jones. Coach, we appreciate your time today. Thanks for having me on. Pumas are 5-1 and one here in 2018. We're just past the halfway point of the season, which is hard to believe. What has impressed you most about this team this season? I think the growth. I think the boys, uh, our ultimate goal is to get better each week, and I, I think they are doing that. And uh, when we break it down by position, position groups, and then obviously your special teams, offense, defense, I think we've, uh, we've, we've done that. We've gotten better every week, which uh, is a sign of a good football team. It's another season with a Purdy quarterback tearing it up for you guys. This year it's Chubba Purdy, 26 total touchdowns and just three interceptions on the year. How have you step in, seen him step in as this year's starter and leader taking over for big brother Brock? Uh, he's just come in. He's a natural quarterback. Uh, he's, he's got uh, great accuracy, very similar to his brother as far as his accuracy goes, and his arm strength is is very, very good and uh, just keeps getting better every week, learning the offense, and we're able to add a few things here and there uh, as he gets more comfortable with, with the offense. You're known for being able to put points up on the board. This offense has put up a total of 321 points this year so far. You have yet to play a game where you score less than 30 points. How does this offense differ from the last couple of years? Uh, I think we have some uh, – we have – Three new, three new running backs. Well, I shouldn't say they're new running backs, but three guys that didn't see the field a lot last year. And uh, our offensive line, I think, has improved. And so it gives us confidence in that run game. And uh, I think that really helps with the pass as well. I think we're last year we were a little more one-dimensional. And this year we, we feel like we can run the ball and throw the ball, which they end up complementing each other and uh, really puts pressure on defense they can't. If they're going to stack the box, we're, we're able to get the ball out and be pretty successful there. And if they're going to stay off and we're able to run the ball. So uh, I think it really helps be multi-dimensional uh, there. And our offensive line is, is a big part of that. And then also our, our three running backs that continually rotate are the, the big key to that too. Colby Dickey has put up some really big numbers for you guys the past couple of years, but it seems like he may not be one of the first guys mentioned when you're talking about this high-powered Perry offense. Just what has he done as a senior leader for you guys this year? I, I think Colby has been an outstanding leader because he's been patient. You know, he's not a selfish kid. Uh, you know, Colby has a chance to, to put up huge numbers if we were to get him the ball. But like you said, we defenses have been giving us the run, and so we've been running a lot more this year. And so he hadn't gotten the numbers and the stats, but that, that hasn't affected him. He uh, goes hard every day at practice. He, he's, uh, I think he's better this year than he was last year as far as just effort and attitude and being a team player. He's been nothing but a, uh, a joy for us this year, and his leadership is as good as it gets. We talk about the force that your offense is, but your defense gets it done as well. Who are your playmakers on that side of the ball that you know are going to go out and show out for you? Well, uh, Travis Beckman is our defensive end that, that comes to, to mind right away. He's a three-year starter for us. He, he's outstanding. Uh, Travis Callaway plays on the back end of that free safety and kind of runs the show with our secondary. Great, great tackler, multi-sport athlete. He's a great wrestler as well. Um, those two guys, we also have a few other guys up front. Um, we got Short up front. We also got Barnhart up front that do a nice job. We think our D-line has uh, is been kind of our our most consistent group. We rotate three different linebackers in there with, with Brax, he's, Braxton Smith, our senior uh, leader with the linebacking crew. And then uh, most of our secondary, besides our two, you know, our three safeties, all started in that state championship game last year. So mm -hmm. the only thing we're missing in that secondary is our two corners from last season. You mentioned that state championship game this week. You're going up against Chandler, obviously, a team that you know very well. Usually each year you guys are playing each other multiple times. As you're doing your game prep and looking at the film on this Chandler team, what jumps out to you? I think their big play capability. They've got a really good running back that uh, at any every time he touches the ball, you hold your breath. You, you hope that we make a tackle. You hope that uh, he doesn't break a tackle, and you hope that we have every gap covered because – the guy's electric. He, he'll see an open gap uh, if you don't take care of every gap, and then uh, he'll break tackles, and, and there's not anybody who's going to catch him from behind. Great stuff, Coach. Thanks again for your time. Good luck this Friday. Thank you.
Chandler and Perry, this is a big game this week. And as you mentioned, these teams meet up quite frequently through yeah. the seasons. That state game was a close one. It was a 49 to 42 final. Both of these teams are just full of guys who can make plays on either, on both sides of the ball. Yeah, and it's I feel like it like the state championship game. There are going to be a ton of big plays, um, and I think kind of the the key for Perry here is he mentioned uh, the running back. That's to Carlos Brooks, mm -hmm. uh, Cal commit, and he's having a great season. He had a great season last year, but was kind of overshadowed by Drake Anderson. Uh, but to Carlos Brooks is a guy that can run between the tackles, can get to the outside. They're going to have to try to limit him uh, defensively and then let those three big running backs that he mentioned uh, get going. And then you also have Chubba Purdy, who, like Brock, is a very good dual threat quarterback right. as well. He doesn't have to rely on it. I think that's what made both the, the Purdy brothers so uh, effective on the ground. They uh, definitely could hold their own um, and make a ton of plays through the air. But if there was everything was covered, they didn't have to lean on the run to go ahead and right. make those big plays. They they were just able to pick and choose their spots. So that, I think that's what made them so effective. Um, and then on, on Chandler's side, I mean, they're just so deep, especially on the defensive side of the ball. Matthew Polamau is now eligible uh, in uh, along that defensive line, which is already playing really well. Uh, Gunnar Maldonado is a guy that uh, really mm -hmm. jumps out to me. In, uh, in kind of Aguano's tenure here, Coach Aguano, he's had one guy that's played both ways, and that's Gunnar Maldonado. That, that's, that's pretty amazing, amazing because yeah. they've, he's been around a while, <laughs> and there have been a lot of guys who probably could play both ways, uh, but they've just had that depth and didn't really have to do that. But uh, Gunnar is a guy that has stepped in, especially early in this year, um, that I, I was able to see them play against Queen Creek um, and Queen Creek definitely held their own through the first three quarters, but in the fourth quarter, you saw what Chandler can do, kind of force a couple of turnovers, quick strikes. Jacob Conover mm -hmm. is so good with the football. Um, so Perry has, definitely has to limit those uh, turnovers if they want to be successful in this game. I thought it was interesting how Coach talked about being multidimensional, and when you look at the numbers here, you wouldn't necessarily think they weren't a multidimensional team because of right. the points they put up. But this run game is made up, we mentioned those three guys, it's Jalen Young, as well as Burns, who has, he's the second leading rusher, mm -hmm. Jaden Burns there. And uh, let's see the name here is Patrick, Peyton Hill, excuse me. So those three guys, and then as well as Chuba are just running that ball and getting mm -hmm. it done there on the ground. So this is going to be a good one between Perry and Chandler. Coming up next, we'll have County Line Preps, Andy Liberta joining us. Keep it here on the Friday Night 360 AC Preview Show.